So next video will be from the A Tale of Two Families, the Diary of Jan Packard book. And that's just going to be another short diary entry, but I want to try and work through the books that I've started. So, Mon Monday, January 21st. I had to stop writing because mum was making lemon cordial and she roped me in. We spent most of the afternoon grating rind and squeezing lemons, stirring in citric and tartaric acid and sugar, then adding some boiling water and pouring the syrup into bottles. Mr. Maxwell from next door gave us a huge bag of lemons and mum doesn't like to waste anything. There are always a dozen, dozens of little sauces in our fridge with one chop or a spoonful of silver beet on them. We don't use dishwashing liquid like Fran's mum's, just a wire shaker with a bit of soap in it. We have a big drawer full of paper bags and a small drawer full of rubber bands. Mum washes the tops from the milk bottles and gives them to the scouts when they come round collecting. She reckons she does it because she can remember the depression. I never knew what that meant before but I do now because I asked her yesterday. Apparently when mum was little everyone suddenly became really poor. Grandma and grandpa lived in a big house like they do now so people used to knock on their door asking for money and grandma would make mum go and tell people that they didn't have any money either. Mum was only five. She said it made her sad. She said, I don't know how lucky I am. But I'm not all that lucky. If I was truly lucky, I wouldn't have been born before the last big war. Then I could have been like Nancy Waite, this Australian who married a Frenchman and become a heroine of the French resistance. Nancy Wake wrecked a German train by making a phone call from the Gestapo's office while she was being held prisoner. She didn't tell on the other people in the resistance, even when the Germans broke off her fingers. When the Allies bombed her jail, and she escaped, she was supposed to go back to England, but instead she led a raid on German signal post. I know all that because I borrowed a book about her from the school library. Our school library is packed with books about the Second World War. Anyhow, Mum and me were starting to label the cordial bottles when Grandma and Grandpa dropped in on their way home from visiting, visiting friends in the hills. Grandma said, oops, gotta go. Pete's yelling from downstairs. He and Michael are going to the bath for a swim and he says I can come to her from ready in three minutes. Where did I put my speedos? So another short video but slowly working through the books I've started. And if you've got any comments, feel free to leave them.